What's up guys? It's David here back with another video now here today We will be talking about my Florida Gators and When we're what we'll be talking about when it comes to the Florida Gators is going to be talking about their season schedule and predicting their schedule That's it. That's if even there is a college football season yeah. We may not even have one, but as the schedule is next to me right now, they begin off with Eastern Washington, then they go to Kentucky, and then South Alabama. All of these games are going to be home, so Florida is going to open up the open up the season with three wins. Then they play Tennessee, who probably will be their toughest competition at the beginning of the season before they get to LSU, which we'll eventually get on to. But Tennessee is going to be away at Tennessee, but I feel like Florida is a better, a much better team than Tennessee. So I, I really see that going down as a Florida win. So Florida continues their winning streak. Then they play South Carolina at home. South Carolina, I even though yes, they they are a very very team, and you can't really count them out most games. I do not really see a South Carolina team beating this Florida team, and that's that's just the way I think. So the Gators are going to win again, and now we all get up to the game that everybody is probably going to be wondering, like, is David going to predict this or is David going to predict that? Florida is going to be playing LSU. LSU beat Florida last year, obviously, because Joe Burrow was having the seasons of all seasons when it comes to the, when, the, when it comes to the college football season. But now that he's gone, and a lot of their good defensive guys that went in the draft are gone and their running back are gone into are gone into the NFL. How is LSU going to do? Because nobody really knew who the backup quarterback for LSU was because of Joe Burrow's amazing season when it came to the college football season. Now the backup quarterback who was the backup for Joe Burrow last season is going to be a starting quarterback and I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I mean it's, it's really going to be a tough season for LSU, and I really don't know how they're going to do the season. A lot of people have said that LSU is going to have a much worse season. Well, not even have a much worse season. They're just not going to be as good as they were last year with Joe Burrow with this new quarterback that they're going to have. And this Florida game against LSU last year it was in Baton Rouge. It was, at Al it was at LSU. And I'll be honest, going into that game, I knew Florida was going to struggle because it's tough to go to LSU and win. It really is. Ba that place in Baton Rouge... It's really, really tough to win. But considering now that this Florida team has kept actually a lot of their good weapons. I mean, we lost two wide receivers. We lost C.J. Henderson and we lost some edge players. But other than that, we really still have a decent amount of our good players. And we still have most of our offensive line. We still have our quarterback, Kyle Trask. So this Florida team really didn't lose that much. And we had quarterbacks who were going to, who probably played better than C.J. Henderson did last season. So... When it comes to this Florida LSU game, even though LSU was the better team last year, this season is Florida. So Florida's going to be beating LSU this year while the college football season happens. And then finally, their final game before the bye and before they get into the bye is going to be against Ole Miss, and that's going to be against Ole Miss. If I'm right, um, I think our ho our head coach used to actually coach Ole Miss, or it was in Mississippi. It was either Ole Miss or Mississippi State. It was one of them. So it may it could possibly be like a rematch against against this team, but when it comes to this Ole Miss game, I don't really see Ole Miss beating Florida at all. Come on, if Florida go Florida go out and beat LSU at home and then lose against Ole Miss, I would be I would be very very upset that happens, and I don't really think it's going to happen. So Florida is going to win this game against um, Ole Miss at away at Ole Miss. Then coming off the bye. Probably our biggest game of the season if we don't get into the SEC championship game. And that is going to be against Georgia. Georgia at Jacksonville. This game has always seemed to be played at some different venue. This year, it, if it wasn't at Jacksonville, it's going to be played at Florida. But they always seem to play in Jacksonville, so we'll really see how this now. When it comes to that Georgia team, of course, they did lose Jake Fromm. They did lose a, a tackle from... from into the draft and but it just seems like that Georgia recruiting class always seems to be doing good and Georgia always seems to be doing good in the SEC so even though I really want to say Florida's going to win this game when it comes to Florida versus Georgia in 2020 I don't think it's going to happen I feel like we're going to have our first loss of the season and it's going to come against Georgia and might I add Georgia beat us last season so I wouldn't be surprised if we if we lose again considering 
Georgia just beat us the last few times, but I hope Florida does win, and I hope I eat my words and say Georgia lose. And when I say Georgia's going to win against Florida, and Georgia actually loses against Florida this season. Now, the last four games of the season, I have this all wins. We have Vanderbilt, Missouri, New Mexico State, and Florida State. Vanderbilt at Vanderbilt, we're going to win 9-1. Vanderbilt's nowhere close to be on the same level as Florida. Missouri, same thing there. That's going to be at, at the Gators' home, so I don't really see that happening either. New Mexico State, there's no, there's no discussion about that. New Mexico State is nowhere near. There's, there, New Mexico State don't even have a chance of being Florida. Florida's probably going to blow them out. But then we come up to rivalry weekend and we play against our rivals that it is Florida State. Now, the Florida State Seminoles are going to be pretty, pretty decent when it comes to this AAC team. And they'll probably be the second team I do a prediction for when it, call, when it comes to College Football Mondays. Which is, oh yeah, by the way, which is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks on Monday. So, this Florida State game is going to be at Florida State. But, after Florida lose against Georgia and then come off three wins, do you really think Florida's going to lose against Florida State? And the way, we, the way we beat Florida State last year, I don't really see that changing at all. So Florida is going to end up beating Florida State. And that means we're going to go into what could possibly be the SEC championship game with one loss. And depending on how Georgia does with their schedule, Georgia could be right there. And it could be a very, very close thing. Georgia could have one loss or two losses. We could have one loss or two losses. But I have us going to the SEC championship game based off of Georgia possibly losing two games. And I have us facing, ugh, I hate saying this, Alabama. And we all know if Florida does face Alabama. Here's the score prediction. Here's the score we, we played last time we played Alabama. That just tells me something. And yes, Alabama will end up beating Florida. And we will not make it to the college football playoffs, unfortunately. But we'll be we'll be back next year. We'll probably have Kyle Trask won't be there. But we have Emory Jones who's going to come in and, uh, and be a very good quarterback next year. And we, we'll come back next year and bounce back. So, yeah. <clears throat> In terms of this Florida Gators prediction, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more sports content like this. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later with another video. Peace.